fish on. He's a jumper. So it's day two here on Lake Kliwoks. Didn't do so good yesterday. Actually, I ran out of battery life and I caught three, but they weren't really even worth videoing. They were just little, maybe 10 inches. But I just put in right behind me there and there was probably six or seven great big trout within about five feet of the shore. So the water looks smooth. Let's see what I can catch today. Right, I'm using one of these little those little wish crank baits. It's, it's a micro, not a super micro, but it's still pretty little. The trout seem to like it. So let's see what I can do here. Hopefully today is, oh, look at that first cast. First cast, fish on. He's a nice one, oh, all right. Well, that was a catch and release moment. That was a nice trout. First cast, nice. This little crankbait, I'll tell you, this is a trout slayer. <clears throat> I do pretty good on the trout on this little crankbait. Let's see if I can do that again. In case you're wondering, I'm using 20 pound braided high visibility because my vision's not so great. And then I've got about maybe a three foot 15 pound fluorocarbon leader on there. I have a little, probably eight ounce weight on the leader just to get it down there. Those crankbaits, you know, they're really lightweight, so it takes them a little while to get down into the zone. So, I like to put, oh, fish on. I'm telling you, this crankbait's a fish slayer. And cheap too, got it on Wish, super cheap. Ooh, he's a fighter. Let's see if I can get this one in the net here. Got it. All right. Very different story than yesterday, let me tell you. Yesterday I couldn't catch a fish to save my life the same place I'm at right now. Today, however, very different. Hooked him good. Get my wires out. trout here looks like he's a native I've been catching a lot of natives in here beautiful coloration go ahead and let him go Come on, buddy oh he splashed me he had to get one lick in the trick is I guess let's sink down there a little bit get it down so it's coming up right over the top of the fish Here. 
This little crankbait's got a really nice little action. And it's got the colors they like that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I got a little friend over here. Look at that heron sitting there. He's just like waiting for his fish, waiting his turn. Hey, buddy. All right, I'm slowly floating into shore, so I should probably paddle back out. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, oh, there's a fish jumping. Lake Cleewax is out here. On, it's one of the coastal lakes in Oregon. And so a town called Florence, and it's in the Honeyman State Park. So you can camp here. Right now I'm looking over at the swimming dock with a day use area, camping, RV full hookups, tent camping, they have an amphitheater. It's kind of a fun place. It's been around since the 60s, I believe. Um, so if you're in the Florence area, if you're gonna be camping on the coast, you just wanna go fishing. There's nice thing about this lake is there's a no-wake lake. So there's nobody out here skiing or tubing or any of that kind of stuff. Any of the motor boats that are out here, I believe, are really like really small motor boats. I've seen a couple, but they're usually going so slow that they don't really affect anything. And you're on the Oregon Dunes here. So it's kind of cool if you have like an ATV or something and you want to fish <laughs> if you want to go out on the sand dunes and take your sand rail or your quads or whatever it's just right over there and there's actually access points right here in the campground to go do that fish on that's a big one Really big one. All right. Wow, that's a big one. this guy look at that one that's a nice size trout there beautiful coloration beautiful fish looks like he's got something attached to him here all right guys there he is all right buddy there he goes. Fish on. He's a jumper. Now, so that was this guy right here. Little red head, yellow body, silver underbelly. It's got a rattle in it. And you can see 
how little it is in comparison to my finger. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a micro crankbait, like a super micro. I'm going to use an ultralight rod. Check that guy out. This one's blue, gold, and silver. Look how tiny that is. It's got a rattle. It's only got one treble hook on it, though. And I've got an ultralight on. So, super lightweight. Let's see what I can do here. Now, because it's so small, I did put on a little heavier weight. I have a quarter ounce weight at the swivel. So, yesterday, this was the only thing I was catching them on, and they were little. So, we'll see about today. See if it's the right profile. It's got a really nice little swimming action to it. What you would expect from a crankbait. Nice thing about using these ultra lights is they make fish on. They make little fish seem like big fish. Well, he's pulling drag. Well, he's a good one. At least I think he is. I don't know. I'm on an ultra light, so. Oh, I lost him right here at the boat. Right here at the boat. He was big, too. Dang. They apparently like that blue micro mini. So let's see if I can look into another one. He really took it. I gotta tighten up that drag a little bit. fish from a kayak with an oar I highly recommend a small anchor you can get them at Cabela's for about 20 bucks and then they only come with about a 25 foot rope so get yourself a 50 foot rope and uh, save you a lot of aggravation floating around the lake and having to constantly oar back to the spot you want to fish in now I'm anchored and we're good to go Fish on. Ah, there you go, he let himself off. Good for him. I like it when they do that. Come right up to the boat, let me take a good look at them, and then they let themselves go. Nice. <clears throat> Saves me having to possibly get a hook stuck in my finger. So one thing I recommend when you're fishing is move around. Don't sit in one spot too long, otherwise you exhaust the fish in that area. You want to move around. Even if you come back, that's fine. But even if you're catching a lot of fish, don't sit there and completely exhaust the area. Move around and keep it fresh and you'll notice you'll get a lot more strikes that way too. Sometimes the fish start to get wary when a few of their friends get sucked away and there's a lot of action in the water. So you just move away for a little bit and you can always come back. And a lot of times the action will be back and going again. So let's do that. Let's pull up the anchor and let's move.
For those of you that are He-Man fans, that's the sound of Snake Mountain. It's also the sound of probably a scammer trying to call me and sell me something that I don't want. <clears throat> Another thing I recommend, this little next speaker right here, I can receive phone calls with the fish on and it doesn't affect uh, me reeling them in, which is kind of cool. So you can buy these on Amazon, you know, nice ones are about a hundred bucks. You can get decent ones for about 75 and they're really nice because not only can you listen to music, but you can hear other people talking to you while you're listening to music or you can just answer phone calls so and it's hands-free i mean you got to hit one button to actually tell it to receive the call but aside from that it's pretty hands-free and it's really cool i do i use it all the time when i'm fishing new spot Drop anchor. Fish on. It's a nice little trout. Wear yourself out, buddy. There we go. Let himself off. Perfect. Thank you, little buddy. You hear that? That is an ATV out at the dunes. That's how close we are. Well, today was pretty successful on those micro crankbaits. Caught a lot of trout. Um, seemed pretty easy, actually. You know, um, I'm going to be on doing more nomadic fishing adventures, so make sure to subscribe and follow me around the country as I go to different states and fish for fish that I've never fished for. And maybe uh, you can give me some advice in the comments and what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong and uh, maybe make